Take a look at this. When I click on run once, this automation is writing and posting for me on X, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. So you don't need to write content from scratch. You don't need to log into each platform and post yourself. All you need to do is set up this AI automation. But Andy, what if I never set up an AI automation before? Yeah. That's actually an amazing question. And that's why I have a free document for you that you can download in the link in the description that allows you to copy and paste my entire automation and all the prompts that I use to make this possible. You don't even need to sign up your email. But if you don't have five minutes to watch this video, you're probably not gonna make it because there is one massive prompting mistake so many people do that I want to help you avoid at all costs. So make sure you grab that tip. Now I'm gonna show you how to set this up in just four easy steps. So let's get started. First, I wanna show off what we're going to make today. As you can see on the screen, we're gonna go from Google Sheets to Perplexity, route that through multiple different chat GBTs that then post on X, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. And all of this is happening inside of make.com, an automation platform that is a lot easier than what it might seem like. And I'm gonna show you all of that right now. But because they're sponsoring this video, they're giving me a special link down in the description that gives you the pro plan one month for free. Just remember that make.com is a free forever platform but since you're watching this video, you might as well get the best plan right now if you wanna keep following along and make this automation. So now I wanna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to make this entire automation from scratch. One of the most handy things that I will give to you is actually a Notion document that I made to give to you to make this a lot easier. Now you don't have to sign up your email or anything. It's down in the description down below, but make sure you follow this video because there is one mistake that I want you to avoid like the plague that I'll share a little bit later. So step number one, copy my automation. Just go to the link in the description and then download this Google Sheet to social media blueprint. Once you have done that, all you need to do is make a new automation just like this. In the bottom, you will see three dots. Just click on that and import blueprint. Just click on choose file, get the Google Sheet to social media, JSON file and click on save. As you can see, it just all popped up for you so you don't have to make it from scratch. But if you try to run this, it's probably not going to work. So I need to show you step number two, set up Google Sheets and perplexity. The reason we need this is because this is where you'll post your articles into. And secondly, we're gonna use Perplexity to rewrite those articles into a summary where I found that Perplexity is the best way to do this. So to set up Google Sheets, all you need to do is go to the document that I've given to you, click on this link that will open this news to social media automation, then just click on file, click on make a copy, because then you can actually edit it yourself. So let's start by having it completely blank and find a link that we wanna put in here to create social media posts for. Obviously, this depends on your niche. I'm in AI, so I like to browse AI news. And I found this article here on Waymo wants to chauffeur your kids. Basically a robo taxi, which is like a Uber, but no driver that I think could turn into a pretty funny post. So all I'm gonna do is copy this link, put it into this URL in the top. And that's all we need to do here. For perplexity, to make this work, all you need to do, click on this settings button, then go to the tab that says API in the top and you just need to buy a couple of credits. I put $5 in here. And the reason for that is that we need an API key. So if you don't have one, just click on generate, copy this, and then we need to make sure to set up Google Sheets and perplexity. If you've never set this up before, all you need to do is basically click on add a new connection here is where you will sign in with your Google account that you just copied the Sheets automation. Then you just go through the steps of search by path, Google shared drive, because I have a shared drive that I use. If you don't have that, you can click on my drive, go through the different folders where you copied my news to social media automation sheet. Make sure to have the sheet name ideas, table contains headers, yes and these rows, limit one, and click on OK. Now that is complete with Perplexity AI. 
it's pretty much the same thing. Just click on add a new connection and this is where you're gonna add your API key. So just paste that directly in here Click on save. I already did that, so I'm gonna close it. In the model, we're gonna use the Llama 3.1 Sonar Small. This is because the price is a lot less and it actually works very well. In the content, you'll use summarize this and start your output with a headline. This is because it's a lot easier for the next steps when we'll go into chat GPT prompts. The role, you'll put user and max tokens will be at 50,000 temperature at one and just click on OK. To show you that it works, I'll just click on run once. And now you see Google Sheet will start finding the first link. Perplexity will start summarizing that and you'll actually get the output here. If you zoom in on the output, we will put usage and choices one message and here you go. This is the content that we got back. That is a summary of the article that we put in. Pretty cool, right? Now I wanna show you how to set up all of these different chat GPT prompts for different social media because different social media act in different ways, right? But before that, don't forget to like this video. Also comment down below AI automation if you want me to make more videos like this. And stay tuned because I'll share a mistake that most people do that I want you to avoid. So let's head to step number two, prompt ChatGPT. Just go to google.com and search for ChatGPT Assistant Playground. Then just click on the first link. If you don't have an account here, this is not your normal ChatGPT. This is actually the API that we're gonna use and test using the assistant feature. So if you've never set this up before, again, we need to go to the settings click on billing and add some credits to your plan. Once again, this is all incredibly cheap, but you want to end up on the assistant tabs where here you can see the Instagram Oasis bot, Facebook Oasis bot, LinkedIn Oasis bot, and the Tweet Oasis bot. How this works is that you put a name to it, then you put an instruction of how you want this assistant to act so we can get the best prompt. I played around with this for hours, fixing and refining it, so I felt like we actually got a good output. And the way you test this is to actually click on the playground, and here you have a chat where you can click on the assistant, select the assistant that you actually want, and then you can write a message to it. So say if we go back to the sheet that we did, we take the output of perplexity by just triple clicking, copy that, paste it back into ChatGPT and run it. You'll see that we actually get a tweet output. And I tested this again for hours trying to get an actual good output. So if we do this for LinkedIn as well, I'll just do the exact same prompt. And here you can see that we get a little bit longer output and we try to ask an engagement question at the end, as well as being a little bit more formal because different platforms have different audiences. It's kind of like this meme, like me on LinkedIn, me on Facebook, me on Instagram and me on Tinder. And I probably have to say that this is the hardest part. And one prompt secret that I actually found out yesterday was for tweets. One of the things that I find is totally different between Twitter versus other platforms is that it sounds like a thought, just something you're thinking and then tweeting out, which led me to find this prompting technique that if you change this, it will have a drastic impact of your actual output. The tone should be like you're having a thought and you're just writing what you're thinking. I changed this one probably 10 times to see what the output was. And for me, this is what caused the most casual but insightful tweet that wasn't too hyperbolic and especially no emojis or hashtags. Yeah, ChatGPT is having a problem with that. But either way, you don't have to prompt any of this. I also added this in the prompts for ChatGPT agent down in the description down below that you can just copy and paste into your own assistant. But they are definitely not perfect. So I encourage you to just copy and paste them to start as a baseline and then tweak them so the output becomes what you actually want it to be. But here is a massive prompting mistake that I hinted at earlier in this video. And that is 
having a too long prompt. Longer is not better. Some of these automation coaches online say that you can just copy and paste a ton of examples and a ton of instructions and all of these things. But what they don't tell you is that the actual output that you get is really long. ChatGPT hallucinates sometimes and takes from this example and puts it into your post that is completely unrelated. So I've found that shorter is better, specifically for these types of posts that usually are pretty short. And to illustrate this perfectly, let me show you in LinkedIn Oasis. This prompt is very short. And if I only just change one word saying make it one paragraph, as you can see, you got this output here. If I said, for example, put a line break between every second sentence, but keep it short. And if I paste the exact same summary, you can see that the output is starting to get a lot longer. One crazy mistake that I did with the Tweet Oasis bot was I put it into an actual prompting engine that is like get 10 times better prompt. And you can see that if I run this one, you see that we end up with a bunch of emojis and hashtag with future of parenting. Say hello to Waymo's autonomous ride for a kid that I think is just too hyperbolate for Twitter. Not to mention how this output is going to be really hard to put into an automation. And speaking about automations, let's jump back to make automations and start setting this up because I really want to show you the rest of this automation. So by the end of this video, we'll actually be able to just click on run once and you'll see them get posted on all my social media. So let's head to the next step, set up the ChatGPT automations. So because you have downloaded and imported this blueprint, this gets a lot easier for you. All you need to do is open the ChatGPT node and then just add your connection here. This means that you need to find an API key and an organization idea. If you did this in the previous step, it's really easy. Just go to the settings in the top, click on your profile, and then go to user API keys. Oh, it seems like it's moved to view project keys. So it's on the bottom of the dashboard. Just click on create a new secret key and the organization ID is right here as well. Once you found that, just copy and paste it into ChatGPT and it should be connected. Now, just select the bot that you want to add like tweet, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, the role, pick user, message, you need to head into the choices, message and content. If you don't see this yet, it's probably because you haven't run the automation. So if you want to set it up without actually triggering all of this, you can just run this once and make sure you get this bubble with an output that gets some content and then you'll be able to choose that. For the rest of the options, you can just keep them blank and okay. You now set up ChatGPT and the same goes exactly for LinkedIn as well. Just select the LinkedIn Oasis bot. But when we come down to Instagram and Facebook, we're actually going to create images. So for the first node to message an assistant is exactly the same for both of these. But when we go to generate an image, what we're going to do is select the model Dolly 3 and you should be connected with the last OpenAI connection and have the prompt make an image based on this text. And this is the actual result that we get from the assistant. So that will be the tweet, the Facebook post, the Instagram post, text that we get back and then just click on OK. So that is how to set up all of the chat GPT prompts, all automated so they generate posts for you and images. But what about the next step, publishing to all social media? As you can see, we have X here, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. So literally all you need to do is to click on add, add a connection. And in the text, you just pick the result from the message assistant that is in the previous step. Again, you might have to run it to be able to get the actual context right here. Now, there is a step here that you could add media ideas, which means that you can actually add a video or a image but it's a little bit too advanced for this video in itself. But if you actually want me to do that, comment down below social media image automations and I'll make sure to make a more complicated automation that allows you to post images to X. But as you can see, all you need to do is put the result in here for LinkedIn. 
all you need to do is put the result in here as well. For Instagram for business, you might have to make a business suite account for Meta and connect that through make.com. Select the page you want to post on and here you add the photo URL so you actually get a URL from the generate image that is data URL on the caption you get the result, which is from this step. And that's pretty much all you need to do for Facebook pages. Again, the page is AI Andy, the message result and the link is pretty much the same as the last ones. And now you might be asking, now that all of this is connected, can I just click on run once and I will actually get a post on all these social media platforms? And the answer is yes. Let's find an article about salmon farm AI vision take that link, put it into Google Sheets, go back to the make automation, click on run once and it will go through the sheets. It will then summarize in perplexity, go up to the ChatGPT Twitter bot and then get posted directly on X. Then we go to the LinkedIn bot, it will start writing and post directly on LinkedIn. The same for Instagram as well, it's currently writing, then it's creating an image and it's now posting on Instagram. And lastly, the Facebook bot is writing the Facebook post, creating an image and posting it on our Facebook page. But how do the posts actually look like? Here is the post on X. Here is the post on Instagram with a crazy salmon farm image. Here is the post on LinkedIn and the Facebook post as well. Isn't that absolutely crazy? I think so too. And it's all possible through make.com. So go down there, sign up and follow my document. And if you want tech support for AI automation and talk to me directly, there is a link down in the description to join my wait list for my private community to help you use AI to get things done faster. So head down in the link in the description and I'll see you in the next one.